So today's video is sponsored by my air conditioner because it's hot as an oven behind these lights. Parfum de Marly has a brand new release that is already causing quite a stir with this bright red bottle. Does it smell as good as it looks? Stay tuned and cue the music! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as CurlySense, and thank you so much for being here! Today I'll be covering the newest release from the niche house of Parfum de Marly, and this one is called Calan. Also, be sure to watch until the end of the video, because I'll be giving away a sample of Calan to one lucky viewer! Now let's kick things off with the presentation! So Parfum de Marly is known for the high quality bottles, which in the men's line all keep the same design but with different colorways. When I first saw a picture of Calan online, I'll admit that it definitely caught my eye. The bright red color is very bold and beautiful in my opinion, and I think it's a great choice by the house in terms of marketing. Of course, I only have a Deacon right here because I definitely don't recommend blind buying full bottles, especially at the price point of Parfum de Marly. So when I first opened my package to smell this weekend, I will say that I immediately got whiffs of a sweetness that did remind me of Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Garkjan, which is what many are already saying that this is quite similar to. After spraying it, however, that quickly changed. In the opening, you're going to get a very earthy green, spicy, woody and citrusy feel from Calan. The blood orange is definitely noticeable and adds a bit of sweetness and a slight bitterness, and the moss is what I think gives off the green and earthy qualities. The spicy notes are also dominant, and I do pick up on saffron in particular, which could also be contributing to the bitterness. In addition, there's a medicinal quality that is reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge 540, because as you may or may not know, a lot of people do get this kind of hospital or dental vibe with Baccarat as well. In the mat is where the woody notes become the star players here. At this stage, I notice quite a big similarity to the woodiness in Latent Exclusive, which leads me to believe that the woods are most likely comprised of some kind of wood and or guaya wood. There still is a definite sweetness coming from the blood orange and possibly amber, but the focus is still more on the woods and spices. In the try down, the woodiness tones down, and you're left with more of a sweet and spicy accord that's quite pleasant. This stage of Calan is definitely my favorite, since I find the dry, earthy bitterness to be a bit much during the earlier stages. With all of that being said, do I think this is Parfum de Marly's take on the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA? I think it's quite possible. Why? Because despite the complexity and various stages of Calang, in the air, this one gives off a very similar overall feel to Baccarat. There's definitely much more woods and spices in here along with that mossiness, but people around you won't necessarily distinguish those particular notes. I think just calling it a masculine BR540, however, doesn't do either fragrance justice, but at the same time is somewhat of an accurate statement. I will say though, if you enjoy Baccarat Rouge 540, it does not necessarily mean that you will enjoy Calan. In terms of performance, I'm getting about 8-9 to nine hours of longevity, with around 2 hours of moderate to heavy projection. In the first 30-45 to 45 minutes, this one projects extremely impressively. My friend said that she could smell me from several feet away while we were outdoors, which surprised me quite a bit. After the 2 hour mark though, I did find it to become a skin scent on me. When looking at seasons, I definitely think that Calan fits best for fall and early spring. It's still quite hot where I live, and throughout testing it in the summer heat, I found it to be a bit overbearing. You could also pull this off in the winter because of the rich woodiness, but it does have a freshness to it that makes fall the ideal season in my opinion. I personally don't think that this is much of a casual scent, and I feel it will work best for more dressy occasions. For compliments, I believe Calan has the potential to do quite well because of the DNA that it's similar to. But if it matters to anyone, I ask three of my girlfriends what they prefer between Calan, Baccarat Rouge 540 and Leighton Exclusive, and none of them chose Calan. Also, in terms of an overall rating for me, I'm gonna go with 6.5 out of 10 for Calan. As far as I know, Calan is not currently available in stores or online, but it was selling at selfridges.com at $220 for the 75ml bottle. It's currently sold out on that website, but I will leave an updated link in the description box whenever it becomes available again. 
Conversation time! I would love to hear what you think of this brand new release, even if you haven't smelt it yet. And also, let me know your favorite Parfum de Marly fragrance or one that you have on your wish list. So, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm giving away the remaining of my Calan Deacon to one lucky subscriber. I would say that there is a little more than 2.5ml in here. To enter, you must be subscribed to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up and leave one comment down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon!